Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, we are going to use Sharp Scientific Calculator EL546X and EL504X to do to evaluate derivative and also evaluate a definite integral. Remember, this calculator cannot give you an equation; it only can give you the the number. Okay, let's have a look here. This is a position of an object. If you take the derivative of a position, it's velocity. So to, to do the velocity, you might be asked, so the question might be uh, that find the velocity at two seconds, at four seconds, and at six seconds. So you will take the derivative of this. I know you can do it by, by hand, but this can do multiple uh, calculation very easily. So when we use this calculator it takes the derivative and it asks you for the value which we are going to give the 2, the 4 and the 6 and then this will be plugged into the derivative. So let's get started. First let's enter the equation. So I'm entering 2 and then press alpha, 2 alpha and then x. You see the here x, y. 2 alpha x for squared press this plus 5 and then alpha and then rcl which is x minus 3 once you are done with this here minus 3 is here we uh, initiate the derivative here d over dx so second function d over dx and it asks for the x value so 2 if we have 2, this is how um, the derivative, uh, how precise you want it. So 0 0.002, you don't touch it. This is a suggestion from the system, that's fine. So now the first one was 13. Now, when you press equal sign, it asks you for the next value, which is 4. I'm just doing it, and then that is 21. And then equal sign again, and this time I'm going to enter 6. And you see this has changed, so don't worry about it. So this is now 29. If I take the derivative of that, you can see that 2 times 2 is 4x and then plus 5. So this will be 0. Now if I plug in here 2, so 4 times 2, 8 plus 5 is 13 and you can see the okay now let's evaluate this definite integral so 2x squared plus 5 dx from 0 to 2 uh, to enter the equation so here is how we start 2 I press 2 and then alpha and x this rcl is x y so alpha x and then for squared I press this if you need some other value so just press this button and enter the value plus 5 so once up to 5 you reach up to 5 this is the integral button just press it it asks for the bound now this is a and this is b the two points so a is 0 press equal sign for b I press 2 now this is number of iteration that goes to do the calculation so don't worry about it 100 is enough to be very precise and then equal sign calculating and it shows 15.333 so that is the value of evaluating definite integral now let's say you have uh, an equation uh, you want to integrate between 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x dx so because here the angle as you can see this is a cosine and we want to evaluate the area under the curve this area the area under the curve from 0 and to, to pi over 2 because this is in radian you must also set your calculator to radian here it says deg which is in degree so we have to press setup and 0 deg drg degree radian grad so press that and then press 1 for radian now let's say you have uh, an equation 
you want to integrate between 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x dx. So because here the angle, as you can see, this is a cosine, and we want to evaluate the area under the curve, this area. The area under the curve from 0 and to, to pi over 2, because this is in radian, you must also set your calculator to radian. Here it says DEG, which is in degree, so we have to press setup and 0 DEG DRG, degree radian grad, so press that and then press 1 for radian. Now I'm pressing all clear and then let's create our equation and press cos and then alpha x that's my equation and then press this integral so the lower bound is 0 equal sign the upper bound is pi over 2 now to enter pi we press uh, second function which is shift pi divided by 2 so just press divided by 2 that automatically is divided now it asks for the iteration So for lower bound, press 0 and then equal sign. For, for upper bound, pi over 2. Pi is here with the 3. I'm pressing shift and 3. So shift 3, it brings pi. Just press divided by and then press divide and then 2. So automatically that is entered. So now uh, again the iteration, don't worry about that. Press equal sign, calculating. It takes a while. Okay, it gives you zero point nine two. To to make this one precise, as you can see, this might not work. So let's store pi divided by two in memory A. Okay, so I'm pressing shift and then 3, that is pi divided by 2, that is the value. Now to store it, I'm pressing store and then A, store A. Now answer, answer is into A, press all clear. If you want to recall the answer, just press RCL, recall A, as you can see that is the value. Now let's run and enter it into um, our integral, so cosine of alpha x and then press integral lower bound is zero for upper bound just use recall and a recall a so that is the value press the iteration is okay number of iteration so press calc as you can see it takes a while to do all those iteration and finds and find the value for you So the answer is 1, which is correct. If you want to do it by hand, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x dx is, and uh, uh, to integrate this, it will be sine of x from 0 to pi over 2. To evaluate it, sine of pi over 2 minus sine of 0. As you can see here sine of 0 is 0 and sine of pi over 2 if you remember this that is pi over 2 and then this is 1 so this value is 1 that's what we got. Thank you for watching this was using a sharp calculator to evaluate the derivative and also different integral. Take care.